Hey, how's it going? This is Professor Wiggins here. We're going to be talking a little bit about who this William Herschel guy was. William Herschel um, lived in the 1700s, and in the year about 1785, he and his sister Carolyn set out to actually measure or to try to map out what the Milky Way galaxy, in fact, looked like. Um, this may seem like an easy problem, right? We, we live in the Milky Way galaxy, so you figure we would know everything there is to know about it. But in fact, living in a galaxy is actually um, a very difficult thing if you're trying to figure out anything about what it looks like. The furthest we've ever sent a probe is to the outer reaches of the solar system. And the Milky Way galaxy is so much bigger than that that we don't have any type of hope of sending a probe far enough out that we can actually turn around and take a picture of the entire galaxy. It's a little bit like the difficulty of seeing a forest, as we say, for all the trees. So if you and I were in a deep, dark forest and we wanted to map out what the forest looked like, um, there would be a couple of options. One is to turn into a bird, magically. Um, granted, not the uh, um, uh, most feasible option, I suppose. But if you could happen to be a bird and you could fly above the forest, that would be easy enough to be able to see what the forest looked like as a whole. The second best thing that you could do, though, would be to actually um, walk around the forest itself and to get a feel for kind of the extent of the forest, where are the streams, where are the edges of the forest, and so on. And both of those options are not a possibility because we don't have interstellar travel. So we're kind of the equivalent of a little worm, if you want to think of it, on the, on the branch of a single tree, and we have to make some type of observation about how big a forest is when we can see seemingly very little of it kind of around us. So what William Herschel did is he set out and said, well, maybe what we could do is just count stars in various directions of the sky. So look one way, count the number of dots that we see. Look another way, count more dots. And then try to build up some type of picture for maybe what the, what the um, galaxy may look like. What does our stellar community look like? And this is kind of the equivalent if you were to extend our analogy of counting trees in the forest. You would look in one direction and be like, I see 30 trees this way, I only see 10 trees this way. Well, okay, well, maybe the forest doesn't extend as far in that direction, was William Herschel's hope. So the first assumption that um, William Herschel and his sister Carolyn were making as they were trying to map out the Milky Way galaxy with these stars was, first of all, that all stars are equally bright, and that turns out to not be the case. And you've learned in previous chapters that there's big stars that are super bright, and of course there's cooler stars that aren't very bright at all. Um, but William Herschel had no way of knowing that. He lived in 1785, um, a mere decade right after the Revolutionary War, so um, a lot of this cutting edge astronomy wasn't available to him. The other thing that he sort of assumed <clears throat> was something about distance. He assumed that stars were kind of uniformly spaced. And that's because he couldn't get a distance measurement from just looking at a blinking light. He didn't know how far away that star is. It's a really hard problem, even today in astronomy, to try to get that distance down with some accuracy. And so all he assumed was that, well, that we're going to kind of spread these, we're going to assume these stars are sort of spread around in the galaxy uniformly, that the spacings between stars are about the same. And for the galaxy as a whole, that turns out to not be a good assumption either. Ga stars are more concentrated in the center of the galaxy, something that we'll learn, than they are on the far reaches of the galaxy. This is actually William Herschel's map of the Milky Way galaxy. It kind of looks like a fish or something of that character. Um, remember that he can only see about 6,000 light years out as he's making this map, and he's making all these assumptions. Um, and uh, notice he also has the sun in the very middle of the galaxy. Well, if you can't see out very far in the forest, it turns out it feels like you're in the middle of the forest, regardless of what your actual location the forest is. Nevertheless, William Herschel and his sister, Carolyn Herschel, made some extremely important discoveries about the Milky Way galaxy, things that we still know about the Milky Way today. And the first is that the Milky Way galaxy is a flattened disk, kind of like a pancake. If the word frisbee had been invented back in the day, maybe he would have used the word frisbee. And this achievement is kind of what we, we, we give to William Herschel. So, so next time what we're going to actually talk about is, this, um, is what the Milky Way galaxy we think actually looks like now. And um, we have a pretty good idea because the instruments have improved, and our techniques have improved, and we actually know a little bit about what a galaxy is. So we'll meet up next time.